welcome back dear friends inside this class we are going to discuss about text shadow so we have discussed about this uh, just in current classes also but inside this class we will discuss about this in details how we can use text shadow or how we can apply shadow on the text open your code editor so i have just inserted here uh, heading 2 and a class by the name of academy and the simple text and this is just the preview welcome wahid academy world of web design so I'm just going to select the class Control C to copy and just here you can see I have just selected this text color black text align center font size 45 pixel so now I'm just going to use here a text shadow for text shadow you need to write here text shadow and you need to just give the horizontal shadow let me just tell you just before this just inside this I'm just going to tell you about the shadow the first pixel that you are writing here i'm just saying the first pixel first pixel for shadow it is left to right left to right or you can say horizontal horizontally and the second pixel second pixel of shadow it is top to bottom or you can say vertically vertically and the third pixel third pixel pixel not pixel it is the pixel blur of shadow blur of shadow so you have just three pixel for shadow left to right or you can say horizontally top to bottom vertically or the third pixel for blur so i have just write here text shadow now i'm just going to say the first pixel five pixel of shadow left to right and five pixel of shadow top to bottom and the third pixel i am just putting this zero for right now and the color of shadow should be red now you can save this go to your web page and refresh now you can see the first pixel we have just set the direction of shadow from left to right and the second pixel we have just set from top to bottom you can see now the shadow is just come out just from the bottom of the text and the third pixel as i told if you are setting the third pixel it will be for the blur of shadow so i'm just going to put this one more five pixel and after saving you can see here that the shadow is now just it is blur the red color is blurred i'm just going to put this on zero for right now and save come here and refresh so you can see for right now and uh, this shadow is just from left to right and top to bottom what if you want to move this shadow from bottom to top or just right to left the opposite of this one so you need to just use here the minus sign you are just going to minus the direction of this shadow safe and refresh now you can see it is just the direction is bottom to top and it is right to left you can see this side it is just right to left and you can just apply the blur of shadow here something like five pixel or six pixel of blur for this red shadow now you can see so you can just use shadow for example like this also for example zero for the left to right and zero for the top to bottom and you can just say eight pixel for the blur of shadow and the color is red safe now you can see just you have uh, some color around the text let me decrease this one to maybe 18 pixel safe and refresh now you can see we have some uh, red color shadow around this text and if we just uh, the text color if we put to white i think it will be more clear now you can see the red color around this white text you can see this the shadow so i have just told you how you can just change the direction of shadow from bottom to top or right to left and how you can just set the shadow left to right or top to bottom 
so this all about shadow we don't have so you can just use here different color so you can use green color any color you want so you can use here so you can just give color in rgb you can just give the name of color or you can just write the color coding here anything you want so you can just do so i hope you are understand uh, about the text shadow in next class i'll come back i'll just uh, we will discuss about the box shadow just a little bit more so have a nice time and see you.